friends, welcome back to my channel and a special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach. I follow Weight Watchers and I count calories and macros. Happy Saturday, it is Saturday so it is grocery haul day. I picked up a lot. When I say a lot of new food finds, because I'm doing a special video, but I thought I'd give you a little sneak peek at what I picked up as part of this week's grocery haul. What you're not going to see is a case of water, Gatorade Zero, and Diet Coke, but everything else I picked up is in this week's haul. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, because I upload a grocery haul every Saturday in five videos per week. Check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching, where I offer personal Personalized to you macros and calories, highly recommend, and one-on-one -on -one coaching if you want to chat with me directly. Links and discounts to my favorite things, and of course my Facebook group, come join us there, we'd love to have you, are all down in that description box. So let me flip you around and let's jump into the grocery haul. Before we start the grocery haul, I have to show you Dossier is now sold at Walmart. I talk about Dossier a lot here on my channel because I love their fragrances. They replicate high-end fragrances for a much more affordable price, and they've released five of their top-selling fragrances in over 1,400 Walmart stores. Now, these range from $29 to $49, so a much more affordable option for the high-end perfumes, and they smell incredible. You can actually go onto their website, enter your zip code and find the Walmart closest to you that sells the five dossier fragrances. You'll see those here on the screen. I will link the information for dossier at Walmart and the fragrances available down in the description box for you. So here is my grocery haul for the week. I went to both Sprouts and Walmart. You're going to see lots of new food finds in this video because I picked up a bunch of healthy snacks. We're going to do a healthy snack taste test video, so stay tuned. I am so excited for the snack foods that I found, so you're getting a little bit of a sneak peek, but we're actually going to do a huge taste test. So let's jump in to the grocery haul. First thing I grabbed is another pack of my pre-cooked, pre-shredded chicken. I need this for a recipe, and this just makes it so much easier than having to cook and shred the chicken myself. I also grabbed two Chobani Zero Sugar Yogurt so I can make some more of those protein cookies that I made in my What I Eat In A Day On Wednesday. If you missed that video, I'll link it down below for you. 30 to 40 gram protein cookie for breakfast, and it was perfect with the Chobani Zero Sugar. So I grabbed a milk and cookies, and a strawberry cheesecake. I did pick up one of the Clio Zero Sugar Yogurt Bars. This is the coconut. I've never tried this one and it sounded really good. 100 calories, six grams of protein, not bad at all. And then I did grab one of my Good Culture Cottage Cheese. I missed it this last week. That's pretty pricey at Sprouts, so I only picked up one, but that'll be good for the week. The first snack find are these Nola Bars. These were buy one, get one free. So I grabbed peanut butter and white chocolate macadamia. I'm not gonna tell you points or anything on the snack foods that I picked up because we'll talk all about that thoroughly in the snack review video. So I'm just going to show you what I picked up as far as snacks go for the grocery haul. A few of you recommended these, the Monk Pack Bars. These are blueberry almond vanilla. They had several flavors, but for some reason this one just sounded really good. Here's another snack I thought sounded good from the brand Navitas. Navitas, this is a really high quality superfood brand, peanut butter and jelly. It sounded so delicious, so I picked those up. Do you guys remember when I used to buy Chetties all the time and it came in a bag. Well, then I saw these and I have a feeling these are the same Chetties. The other ones had eight grams of protein. These have six. So I don't know if they reformulated and that's why they disappeared and repackaged. I have no idea, but of course I had to grab them because I was obsessed with those crackers. Here's another thing I'm excited to try from Simple Mills. I love the Simple Mills brand, nice clean ingredients. These are the mint chocolate sweet thins and you know how much I love mint anything. Rice bars, this was a new thing to sprouts and I grabbed chocolate orange. I thought that sounded really good. Those are riced puff bars. And then I love the Vienna chickpea snacks and I saw that they came out with a trail mix and this is the schoolhouse 
classic. So I'm super excited to try that. And then I did refill my Bada Bean Bada Boom. These are really, really good. This one is sea salt. These are fava beans, and they're just a really excellent source of protein. And then I grabbed a couple different chips for the taste test. These are a new item to sprout. And then I haven't had these in a long time, and I love them. They're one of my favorite chips. I did pick up some cantaloupe. It was on sale for just a couple of dollars. We'll just eat that up today. It doesn't expire for a few days, but we'll go ahead and finish that today. And then someone mentioned in some video I watched about these mini peppers, and it got me thinking about them, so I decided to pick them up to have them as a snack with some dip or by themselves this next week. They had the Rival Romaine lettuce on sale for $1.50. That's a really good deal. Troy has been eating salad, so I thought that he could have that for his salads. And then, of course, no surprise to anyone mini cucumbers we did not have cucumbers this week and i was so upset i mean i sliced up zucchini ate that but i definitely missed my little mini cucumbers so i picked up a bag and then two huge stalks of celery we have been liking veggies and dip and i was thinking this with peanut butter it just sounded really really good so i grabbed two big stalks I did grab some grapes from Walmart. They were $1.88 a pound, which is a really good deal. I am going to a farmer's market here in a little bit with my mother-in-law, and I'm hoping to find some fruits and veggies. Sprouts was out of all the berries. They had no strawberries, no blueberries, so I'm hoping to find a few things at the farmer's market, but I did grab some grapes just in case. Sliced almonds, this is for my breakfast meal prep, and then these I thought I could also use for protein pudding. Yes, that recipe is coming. I grabbed a few more things for that recipe. It will be live on my channel this month. A can of mild diced green chilies. This is for my lunch meal prep as well as a knockoff of Rotel. They didn't have any mild Rotel and I did not want the hot one. So I grabbed the Great Value brand and then I also needed a can of, actually I needed nacho soup, but I decided to go with the Healthy Request cheddar just because it was much better as far as points and calories go. And that is for a dinner recipe. I also have been hearing a lot about these Chobani Complete Shakes and the banana one sounded really good. 25 grams of protein, there is 200 calories, but but I wanted to try this in our healthy taste test. I thought that would be the time to pick this up and see if it's any good. And then I saw these from the brand 34 Degrees. These are sweet lemon crisps. And these also sounded super, super good for that taste test. And then I love wisps. And I saw that they had Asiago pepper jack and pepper jack cheese is my favorite. I know it's weird. I don't like spicy food, but I love pepper jack cheese. I can't explain it, but I did grab the wisps. We'll taste test those. A gallon of 1% milk for Troy. And then I saw these Kodiak Chewy granola bars. They have seven grams of protein. So I thought that that wasn't bad at all. And I really enjoy the Kodiak product. So we're gonna put those into the taste test along with these mini snack size perfect bars. I just did a video on my nutrition channel about healthy snacks. And this is one of the top 10 healthiest snacks. So I saw them at Walmart, picked them up. I did grab the minis, which are only 130 calories. So not bad at all. And the other snacky thing I got were these junkless bars. I've seen these. I've almost put these in my cart a few times. And I thought, what better time than a healthy snack taste test video to pick these up. So I grabbed the peanut butter chocolate chip. We're going to have tacos one night for dinner. And Troy wanted crunchy tacos, so I grabbed the stand and stuffed shells. Hershey's Zero Sugar, I've been looking for this for my protein pudding recipe and they finally had it, so I picked it up. And then another three pack of my 93% grass-fed, grass-finished ground beef from Walmart. $19 and some change, almost $20 for three pounds, but it is such good quality meat. I highly recommend it. Stocked up on a few more sugar-free jellos for protein pudding. I grabbed a pistachio, a white chocolate, and a big box of vanilla. I really wanted chocolate, but there was no sugar-free chocolate pudding, so we're gonna make do with what they had in stock. I also grabbed some light shredded cheese for dinner recipes, and then I needed some low-carb tortillas for my lunch meal prep. So that is everything that I picked up for the week. So many new food finds. Definitely make sure you're subscribed and your bell's on so you don't miss the healthy snacks taste test. So here's what is on my menu for the week. So Saturday, we always go out for dinner. Sunday, we're doing a taco night. Monday, I'm making taco lasagna. So we have lots of taco things this week. It just sounded really good. Tuesday, we're doing leftovers. Wednesday, I am making creamy pesto chicken and then we do leftovers Thursday and Friday. As a reminder, you will see the taco lasagna recipe in this next Wednesday's 
what I eat in a day. And here's what you'll be seeing in Monday's healthy meal prep. So for breakfast, we're making berry cheesecake overnight oats. I'm really excited for this. Lunch is going to be white chicken enchiladas. Also excited for that. And then of course, dessert, we're doing chocolate chip peanut butter balls. So these are going to be a portable, healthy snack. So stay tuned again for Monday's meal prep. Thank you for joining me for this week's grocery haul. I hope you are excited for the healthy snack taste test video that is coming out soon. I can't wait to share it with you. And also, of course, the protein pudding recipe coming out later this month. So if you enjoyed the grocery haul, give it a big thumbs up. Again, subscribe if you're not. Turn your bell on so you don't miss any of my future videos. And don't forget to check out the description box for nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite favorite things and come join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Happy Saturday, happy weekend, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye.